So example 8.34 is a very very important uh, 10 marks question. So let's pay attention to this. So it says in a certain chemical reaction the rate of conversion of the substance at any time t is proportional to the quantity of the substance which is still not transformed at that instant. So there is a chemical reaction happening and there is a substance which I call as A okay which is the amount of substance which is present which is still not transformed at any given time t now what they are saying is the rate of conversion of that substance whenever we see the word rate we are going to say it is with respect to time right what is it that we are differentiating with respect to time here the what is it said here rate of conversion of the substance so i am going to say da by dt because A is a substance which is getting transformed in the chemical reaction. Now, at any time, the rate of conversion of the substance is proportional to the amount of the substance which is still not transformed at that instant. So, therefore, I am writing an equation saying that dA by dt, which is the rate of conversion of the substance, is proportional to the amount of the substance which is still not transformed. So, now once we have understood this equation, we can go to the next step which is to remove this proportional sign therefore I am going to say dA by dt is equal to k into a where a is some arbitrary constant next what I am going to do is I am going to bring all the a's to one side the one that we usually do and take the t to the other side now if I integrate on both sides I will get log a is equal to kt plus some constant which I am writing as log c right this I can further write it as log a minus log c is equal to kt you know that log of a minus log of c can be written as log of a by c by the division uh, rules of logarithms right is equal to kt now I am going to say e power log I am taking e power on both sides is equal to e power kt ok you know that e power log something is directly that something right so a by c is equal to e power kt and therefore this implies a is equal to I am taking c to the other side a is equal to c e power kt so this is how you derive this see most of the sums you can straight away write by saying a is equal to c e power kt but if you want to know how it is derived this is how it is derived so now let's get back to the sum ok now we have got this equation ok let's have it as a rough column here ok so we've got that equation a is equal to c e power kt ok in the sum they say that at the end of 1 hour 60 grams remain ok ok let's take that statement alone when time is equal to 1 hour at the end of 1 hour how much of substance is remaining 60 grams right you know that a is equal to c e par kt so you can write 60 equal to c e par k t is just 1 so just have it as it is so this is your first equation right next what they are saying is at the end of 4 hours the amount remaining is 21 grams so it is reducing right so at the end of 4 hours the amount which is remaining is only 21 grams so if I put it in this equation right it becomes 21 is equal to c power kt right so t is 4 here so I write it as c e power 4k ok now what is it that we need to find out we have to find out how many grams was there initially therefore what are they asking us to find out is how much of the substance was there when t was equal to 0 what was the value of t this is what they are asking us to find out that we will have to do with the equations 1 and 2 right <clears throat> suppose I say at time t is equal to 0 
what is this equation be this equation over here will become a will be equal to c e power k into 0 which is 0 which is c so at time t is equal to 0 a is equal to c right this is what we are getting so from 1 and 2 equation if i can find out what c is okay then i can know what a is because i know that at time t equal to 0 a is equal to c so now what i'm going to do to the first equation is i'm going to take it to the power of 4 so i'm going to say 6 e power 4 is c power 4 into e power 4 k that i'm going to call it as my third equation now i am going to divide my third equation by the second equation so i get 60 power 4 by 21 is equal to c power 4 into e power 4k into or here it would be c e power 4k so you get therefore c cube okay is equal to 60 power 4 by 21 <coughs> now how do you find out what the you know cube root of 60 power 4 by 21 is one easy way is to use the calculator but unfortunately you can't use the calculator in your exams so you have to use the logarithmic tables right typically in the exams they will give you a logarithmic table or they'll give you i think they give you the value directly in your uh, the question itself so that being the case you can straight away write that the value of c is 85.15 right using the logarithmic method but i would suggest that <clears throat> try using the log method at home at least once the more you keep doing it you automatically know the what is going to be the value of c right and you should remember it because you, in the exam taking a logarithmic book doing it is only going to be wasting your time so when you see the sum you must remember that the uh, you know answer for this c is equal to 85.15 and also you must you must not buy heart it but practice many times at home by seeing the log books and with practice you will automatically be able to remember the answer right so we found that c is equal to 85.5 but you know that we got a is equal to c therefore the amount of substance which was present when t is equal to 0 that is during at uh, the initial stage was 85.5 5 grams so this is the answer so let's quickly revise so we got this equation a is equal to c e par k t we just saw how we derived it and then at time after one hour we saw what is the substance that was remaining at the end of four hours what was the substance that was remaining they wanted us to find us uh, they wanted us to find out what was the value of this um, amount of substance that was present initially that is when time was zero so we substituted what would be the value of a when t is equal to zero in this equation and we saw that a is equal to c so we knew that since a was equal to c with the equations one and two if we are able to find out what c is we can say that we have found out a so for uh, calculation sake we took equation 1 to the power of 4 and then divided with equation 2 and then you got c cube is equal to 60 power 4 by 21 and by using log tables you found out that the value of a was 85.15 so if you are very interested how to find it is 85.15 if you are not able to find out using your logarithmic tables just give me a message and I will mail back to you how to find out.